my expectations are low, but I'm still giving them the benefit of the doubt, you know? Um, I take it back. The product is kind of like spilling out. Wait, what? Wait, what? Did you see that? It was already pre-opened! This was inevitable. So I took to my Instagram yesterday to ask my followers a question and that question was what should my next video be about? And there was two options, drugstore makeover or trying 7-Eleven makeup. But the majority chose 7-Eleven. I just wanted to make a video doing makeup with not expensive products because there's people who in the beauty community spend so much money on makeup, it's ridiculous. And I'm poor, so... Yeah, $100 highlighter, $1,000 highlighter. I sold my soul for highlight? And I wanted to do a very cheap makeup look and from a place that you would least expect to get makeup from, and that's 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven is a very convenient gas station store with plenty of fun trinkets and items, and I saw that they have linked up with a makeup brand called Simply Me Beauty. And I've never seen this makeup brand like anywhere else. I've only ever seen it when I visit 7-Elevens in my area. So with that being said, let's go ahead and be poor together and go to 7-Eleven and get some makeup. So, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Anyways, I got eyeshadow, eyebrow stuff, concealer. I got foundation slash BB cream. Bro, they even got eyelashes. I got blush and I got lipstick. And all of this was about $13 in a normal makeup place like Ulta or Sephora, this, all of that would have been already like $40. So I think this was a pretty good deal. Anyway, so let's first start with the BB cream. There was only three options, which was light, medium, and dark. And um, I chose medium, so there wasn't any way to tell if it was gonna fit my skin color. It was kind of just like, well, hopefully it does. Oh, oh my gosh. I don't know if you can see the packaging, but it looks like it's humidity or something spilled all over it, and it kind of smells. My expectations are low, but I'm still giving them the benefit of the doubt, you know? Um, I take it back. The product is kind of like spilling out. Wait, what? Wait, what? Did you see that? It was already pre-opened! This was inevitable. Okay, well, we're gonna still use it. I'm a little scared that maybe it was used already. Um smells like makeup, so that's good. The consistency almost feels like pottery clay. It's, mm, it does not feel good. It really does not feel good. Um, it feels really heavy. My pores are suffocating, but I'm still gonna give them the benefit of the doubt. So next we're going to be using their High Def Concealer. Here's the concealer, look at that shine. Whoa, this one smells like, it smells like nail polish remover. I don't feel safe suddenly putting any of this on my face, but. I need to get this brand. All right, so we're gonna use this concealer as also contouring highlight because there's no contouring highlight that I could buy. It was not a thing. Let's blend this boy out. Hopefully once, you, once we blend it, it'll look a little bit more normal. Um, that's actually not that bad. 
Um, for some reason, my eyeballs itch. So the very next thing that I got was blush. And this is their blush. Okay, you know what? Story time, okay? We're going into story time territory. No one is safe. My story is this. I went to 7-Eleven and I grabbed the makeup, right? I have a lot of makeup items. I give it to the cashier and everything. And usually cashiers are really nice and they're like, oh, did you find everything you need? And then you're like, oh yeah, you know, like blah, 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 you know? But no, this cashier was all up in my business. And I put the products down and he was all like, wow, that's a lot of makeup. Like, wow, you can observe things, good for you. Which I don't care about that comment. It was more so the next comment he made. And he was like doing the thing like, you know, like beep, 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 scanning the items or whatever. And then he's like, you know, you're a very beautiful woman. You don't need this type of things. If I wanna wear these things, then I can. And since I'm socially awkward, I was just like, oh, haha. -ha. Hopefully his comment will just be swayed away by my laughter and we can continue paying for my items. But then um, he's scanning the last item. He's like, I'm serious. You don't need this. Do you really need this? And he starts questioning me and I ended up questioning my life decisions. And let's just say I had an existential crisis when I drove home. So anyways, that was my story time. Back to the makeover. So we're gonna use this little brush thingy that it comes with. We're gonna go in with the orange color. Okay, well the application of the brush does not make it nice whatsoever. I kind of look like Pikachu, but just very busted and ugly but hey at least the pigment is there i was almost expecting it to be non-existent kind of like my youtube career but it's there we're gonna add some on the nose since y'all already know that's how i roll always on the nose making it look like i have the flu or whatever we're gonna go in with their eyebrow product there's a cream and then also the powder for your eyebrows Things I did that Anyways, I believe they had more than one color But I chose the one that I think would look best on me Which is like just an orangish thingy So this is the lipstick product Um, the first thing I've observed is that it speaks true to its name Lip Crown It literally smells like a Crayola box Not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing But since I used to eat crayons when I was a kid I think that it's good So let's try on this color <coughs> This lipstick, um not to be rude or anything, but it's horrendous. I hate it. I hate the person who made this. Why would they do this? I'm going to find whoever made this product and slightly insult them by saying, Hey, I don't like the product you made and you should change it. And then they'll give me all the money they make off of it and then we'll be best friends. So next what we're gonna do is highlight and eyeshadow. There was a lot of color options for eyeshadow, so I decided to settle on this one because it had um, a color of highlight on the top. So let's get into it. It doesn't come with a little brush thingy, so we're gonna have to use one of my brushes. And we're gonna go in with this shimmer and use it as highlight. The pigment is not that bad, actually, like, So I think we're good for now with the eyeshadow. Um, they didn't have any mascara or any eyeliner, so we're gonna use some of my eyeliner and mascara. All right, so there is one last thing that I got, and that is actually false 7-Eleven lashes. So I'm going to go ahead and try these on. There are apparently full false lashes um, wear. And the best part of this is that they come with a very ominous and obscure glue that has no label on it. So we're going to put that on our eyeball.
I need to take these off. Oh my gosh, they're itching my eyeballs like crazy. The thing that really started to irritate my skin was for sure the concealer. The eyeshadow was perfectly fine. The lipstick, I feel like I could have done better at choosing. The eyebrow product was actually pretty decent. With the heavy eyeshadow, I would have really liked to have more lash options. And the glue was absolutely terrible and it made my eyes sting. It surpassed the expectations that I had for it being a gas station brand, you know what I mean? So if I could rate the overall products that I use, the look, the outcome and everything, I would rate it um, 7 out of 11. No, honestly, I would probably rate it like a 5 out of 10. I feel like if I could have used some of more of my makeup, like my contour stick, my setting powder, and all type of stuff, that it would be very doable. But I only wanted to do a full face with the 7-Eleven products. So honestly, it would be like a 5 out of 10, honestly. Compared to how I usually do my makeup looks, this is for sure falls flat. Anyway, so that's all I have for this video. Um, I'm really hungry. I'm gonna go eat. And I'm gonna go wash my face off from the chemicals that are burning in my skin. And comment down below other video suggestions. And thank you for watching. Subscribe and like or whatever. Okay, bye. You don't need this.